Welcome to Using WordPress, creating affordable websites that search engines will love. So now you're ready to start posting articles on WordPress. There are two approaches to writing articles on the web. One is to just write about whatever you want randomly and hope someone finds your content of interest. The other is to start out with a plan. I'll cover search engine optimization of websites in another article, but for now I thought I'd introduce some things to think about as you plan your articles. If you want to attract a large number of visitors to your site, your articles must be valuable, timeless, original, and personable. By valuable, I mean your articles should be of value to a large percentage of people. Try to write about subjects that people are definitely interested in, and you can find out what people are reading about on the internet in many different areas. There's Google Insights, Google Trends, Technorati, and Alexa.com. And I have a listing of all those in the article that precedes this video. By timeless, I mean the article should be of interest to a large number of people a month from now, for example. This is important when you're trying to create a large content-driven website. Let us say you want to have 100 interesting articles on your site. If you create five per day, but four of those fives will, will have no value to anyone in a month, you're working against yourself. Instead of reaching your goal in 20 days, it'll take you 100 days to reach your goal. The original content is invaluable. There are far too many aggregators of information as it is, and the only way you, uh, you can make your site different is to create content that is not available anywhere else. So go get inspired by something and create some original content. Finally, do your best to talk like a real person, try to be funny, tell stories, and don't get stuck writing articles that are aimed only at pleasing the search engines. Many search engine optimization tri tricks are geared towards making it seem like a website is of value. So do your best to appeal to real people and then search engines and by just making a valuable, timeless, original site and everything will work itself out. Now I'm assuming you're logged into your WordPress.com account right now. At the top of your page, drift your mouse over to the link titled My Dashboards and you'll see one of your posts will pop up, or one of your actual uh, blogs. Click on it. When you do a drop down will appear showing all those blogs you currently have set up with WordPress. You're now on a catch all page. Under right now, you'll see a listing of your total posts, pages, categories, and tags. The posts are your articles. Pages are for static pages you created that are m more similar to normal website than blog pages. Categories refer to how you grouped your articles with other similar articles. Tags are keywords that help define the topics covered in a post. The recent comments section will list all the comments others have made on your blog. Incoming links show you other websites that are linking to your site. The Your Stuff section shows all of your recent posts. What's Hot describes what other sites are talking about. And the section labeled Quick Press allows you to post onto your blog without thinking about the styling of the post. You just plug in your title, content, tags, and whether you want to add media, and hit publish. And if you want to save a draft, which will keep others from seeing the post until a later date, click on Save Draft instead, as you see right here. And this would obviously reset and delete all the content. Now, if you wanted to insert an image, for example, you would put your mouse here and click on that. And you can see here you can in uh, upload an image from your actual computer and it'll be stored on the WordPress servers or click on from URL which is quite simple just copy the image address go back in type in your image at uh, URL then you could type in a title which I definitely would alternate text image caption which would show up with the image itself and then choose what types of alignment you would like and there's little pictograms here to show you what that is Click on a link to image, and then click on insert into post. You can also find here all files that you would upload from your computer are automatically saved in the media library area. And if you would have hit up, upload the uh, image, it would appear right here. You want to upload a video, for example. Now, if you upload one from your computer, they're going to be served on the WordPress server, so that's going to cost you an additional money. Or you can post for free from a URL. And what I'm going to do is actually go here. I'm on YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E.com. I'm going to double click in this section right here where the URL is. I'm going to copy it. Go back into my dashboard area. Paste it right here. 
and insert post and it will automatically insert that video for you. You can also insert audio if you click here or multiple other different types of media and I'll open that up for a second and you can see here JPEGs, these are both JPEGs, a ping file falls somewhere between a JPEG and a GIF. This is a, an Adobe PDF file which is a, a very popular document storage format. Doc as well as DocX, Microsoft Word, PPT, PPTX, PowerPoint, and this is an open office file format. At a later date I'll cover the section here that refers to add to poll. And if you're wondering additional places that you can find websites that have video, I have a listing of a multitude of different video posting websites down at the bottom. To finish off this post, I'm going to walk you through the best way to post your articles. First click on the link labeled posts on your left sidebar and you can find that right here. This will list all of your current posts and provide you with the ability to edit them or perform different bulk actions. I'm going to click on Add New. Right here in this unlabeled area, we actually have a, uh, this is where your title goes. I'm going to open up my word processor, copy the title, copy it, paste that in. And this has a lot of the formatting uh, options that you see in most uh, word processors today. This again is where you would insert different types of media. Over here is where you would switch to a straight HTML if you would like to paste that way. Most of these are self-explanatory. Block quotes are a little bit un not understood. When used, they uh, create white space that shows up before and after the block quote element, and it also inserts margins for the block quote element. Um, there's your hyperlink. This would create a hyperlink. This would destroy one. This is a more button, or insert more tag. Uh, when you decide that you want to cut off your article, you can insert the more tag to effectively split the post. This is proofreading back in your profile section. You can actually go and uh, change the information in regards to how it checks grammar and spelling. This is full screen mode. This is not. This is the kitchen sink. I currently have it on. Just brings up different formatting options. Here's some text formatting options. Underline. If you clicked on this button here, you would stretch your text so that it would look more like a square area and aligned. Change your text color, import plain text, word, erase formatting, insert special characters. This is, is your indent tool, outdent, total opposite. This is your undo tool, this is your redo, and this will give you some um, specific help in regards to rich text formatting. I'm going to jump back over here, grab my post, in my word processor, copy it, paste it, don't want to do any formatting. This is your excerpt area where you would do a brief explanation on what the actual post is about. Search engines eat these up and it also your, your readers will love it. Trackbacks is a reference to any URLs. You would want to list them that you make reference to in your post up here. Just consider it a kind gesture and just lets the other person know you're using their content. Decide down here if you want to allow comments. Allow trackbacks. I would leave those both posted. And then at that point, you decide you want to save your draft until a later date. Preview the article inside of your actual page. And there you see, hosting a site with WordPress. Close that for now. Or you click on Publish. And that's basically everything else. Uh, your tag area would be your keyword section. And that you would want to reference to this article. I would definitely put some keywords in there. And then here, you'll see the categories. So since I'm writing, writing about WordPress, I would like to click on the WordPress category and click on Publish. And that ends the posting articles on WordPress post. In the next article, I'll go deeper into all of these other remaining areas in the media, links, pages, comments, ratings, polls, appearance, users, tools, and settings. And then you'll know just about everything there is to know about WordPress. Thank you, and have a great day.